I suppose it's been a while, but it's time to duel. They'll probably only be showing this deck off, you know, for one or two matches, depending on how long it takes them to pull off um, the deck's main goal. Um, obviously, with the name Magikor of Exodia, the goal is to summon Exodia, the Forbidden One, as quickly as possible. Problem is, that's a bit tricky sometimes. I mean, let's face it. Well, I'll save the spell card. I got quite a few cards in here for just drawing purposes, so you know, help speed up things up. I really want to get to Manticore of Darkness so I can show off, you know, uh, Infinite Loop Effect. But we're gonna let Hyena get run over, because let's face it, having Hyena run over means I can more rarely summon, you know, a couple more Hyenas, thin my deck out. You no, know, it's a win as far as I'm concerned. Because the less cards we have in our deck, the better. So we'll summon you in defense mode, and we'll summon the other Hyena in defense mode. Boom. Um, yeah, you can attack it. I don't care. I mean, I can't activate its effect because there's no more targets, but I'll do it anyway. Now let's see, what am I going to draw this time? Well, that's one of my Manticores. I need the other one, though. Along with a copy of Card of Safe Return. Darn, that's not what I wanted. Well, I'll go with Gravity Bind first. That way I don't have to pay any life points, you know? If, we're, if worst comes to worst, you know, I'll activate Wall of Revealing Light in order to prevent myself from taking life point damage, you know? That's just what I'll do. Okay, we'll set that bad boy and call the turn. After all, I can flip it, draw a card, then put it back face down, you know, just gotta keep moving. I honestly don't know why you'd summon Dark Magician right now. Ooh, Tune Table of Contents, this is a great card. Because it means I can grab another Tune Book, throw that card, you know, in the graveyard, summon another Tune Book, then grab a Tune Monster so I can effectively grab, you know, multiple cards, I only have to use, you know, one to start off with. So, that's what we're gonna do, you know, just burn as many cards as possible. Oh, I don't, I don't want to chain any other cards onto this. I'll just grab, you know, Toon Gemini Elf here. And I guess we can activate this bad boy. Ooh, I can, I can set you and get some more draws. I like it. I mean, really like it. We'll set you and then activate its effect, put it back face down, and just annoy the opponent with it. There, we'll um, force his Dark Magician into defense mode. So even if he grabs Remove Trap, he can only attack with like his giant Soldier of Stone. So you know, that's, that's a win as far as I'm concerned. Well, let's draw. That's... The last card I was looking for, to be honest. Well, besides another Manticore, but at least that way I can start using its effect, you know, if I can get the other one, get enough cards in my hand to throw one out. Okay, let's draw. No, no, no. Oh, we got the other Manticore? Sweet. I don't think we're going to be able to throw enough cards out, though. But that's fine. We, we can do it next turn, we can show off the power of the Manticore of Darkness. Infinite draw strategy. I, I'm i not kidding, I will get infinite draws because of those cards, we, the card we have on the field and the two Manticores. I mean, there's no way I can not get to Exodia next turn. Because I'll have enough cards in my hand to force it. Well, I can activate a second card of safe return, let's do that. Come on, baby, draw a card. No, nah, no, nah, I don't want to activate anything. Um, let's set you back face down. And that should be enough to force a discard, which is what I want. Yep, discard from my hand. Which allows me to trigger the effect of Manticore of Darkness, because if it's in the graveyard in the end phase, I can special summon it to the field. And I can then sacrifice a Manticore of Darkness to do this. 
The problem is, you know, this activates a chain where I can keep doing it over and over and over again because Manticore counts as a type of card I can sacrifice for its effect. So yes, activate the car power of card to safe return. Let me draw two cards every time I do this right now. No, I don't want to chain that last card. Honestly, it's gonna probably just annoy me right now, but you know, that's just how it goes. Um, I'm almost tempted to activate that just to get out of the way. Okay, let's set you in defense mode. Then, you know, just keep activating these cards over and over and over again. Eventually, we'll get to Exodia. No, nothing else. I might have to draw, like, every card in my deck. I had to do that one time while I was testing this deck. I had to draw out every last card. It sucked. I mean, it's not like it's hard, it's just time-consuming. So you gotta be like, yes, activate the effect. Yes, activate the effect again. Like, no, I don't want to chain a card. So just, you know, let me draw some. Okay, we got another Exodia piece. One step closer. No, just, um, set in defense mode. And then activate these, which is probably why I'm not gonna show off another match with this, because we, we achieved my main goal. I want to show off the infinite draw potential of Manticore. I mean, this is probably not the best Exodia deck around, but this is a method for, you know, for drawing all the pieces. Yes, we'll activate Manticore and toss Manticore back in the graveyard. Why wouldn't we do that? I have to admit, this is not one of my favorite decks, though. I mean, it just feels really cheap to run an infinite loop like this. Though it is, you know, nice to be able to act like you're Yu-Gi-Oh every now and again and be like, I summon Exodia, the Forbidden One. Exodia, obliterate! Yes, yes, activate its effect. And toss Manticore back in the graveyard. Yeah, I know, we could summon an attack position, but then be forced in defense mode anyway. Yes, activate the other one. You gotta be somewhat careful with that if you have multiple copies in the field, because you could potentially kill yourself if you were careless by trying to draw more cards than you could from your deck, so... Be w be wary. No, I, I got anything else I want to chain. Yep, set Manticore, and... Let's draw some cards. What chain? But I'm guessing my opponent wishes he could do something right now. Okay. We're gonna have to draw every card from the deck. Damn. I mean, it might be the next card, but I might as well just activate both and draw the last two. After all, that ensures, you know, I'm gonna get regardless. Oh! It wasn't the last card, just the second to last card! But here it comes! Exodia! The Forbidden One! Obliterate! Well, that's one way to win a duel. Yeah, you get, you get a massive bonus, you get, you know, extremely low deck, you know, which means you take every card out. Um, it's like 1,500 points. The problem is, you know, it's not something I like to do, because you gotta keep drawing so many cards, like, I just want to be done with this. But, yep, that's how you get out of Exodia effectively. You use an infinite loop and just degenerate the game to where you're playing with yourself for, you know, like, several minutes at a time, while your opponent can do absolutely nothing! <laughs> Sucks to be them.